Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome back to the Fun Business, Fun Money podcast. I love saying that every time. If you're listening in real time, this episode is live on Tuesday, the 14th of February, which of course is Valentine's Day for a lot of people around the world. Happy Love Day to you, to whoever you love, because love is love. End of story. But it's actually not a day that I personally celebrate as such. It's more a timely reminder of our wedding anniversary, which is tomorrow, the 15th. So if my amazing hubby Shay happens to listen to this, love you and happy 26 years for tomorrow. It's also one of the hottest months in Australia in February. It's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. And let me tell you, it's been a doozy for heat and humidity so far. I'm already dreaming of the cooler months ahead. Autumn, which is fall for you US peeps, is my favourite season of all. Now, of course, none of that has anything to do with today's topic. But As a connector money personality, a little bit of small talk about the weather is part and parcel of who I am. (laughs) Today is a longer coaching episode about charging premium fees, specifically the number one strategy that you need in order to actually charge premium fees. Now, I don't know if you can tell that this is one of my favorite things to talk about. If you could see me right now, I'm doing a little happy dance wiggle in my chair because it's so fun. And there are several reasons why that is. Firstly, what you charge says more about your money mindset than it does about the work that you do. And that might be a little uncomfortable for some to hear, but it's true. When you're delivering immense value that far outweighs the actual investment that people make to get it, that's a money mindset issue. It's easy to say that you're keeping it low because that's what people in your industry will pay or no one will pay more. But if you're feeling overworked and underpaid, that's a problem. Secondly, talking openly and honestly about money and pricing helps everyone to expand their thinking. For far too long, money has been this taboo subject, something to be whispered about between co-workers or hidden in shame between life partners because maybe you don't want the other to know that you're having a tough time financially. And the third reason that I love to talk about money and pricing is that we have to continually break the stigma for women around earning more money and being worthy of it. I always knew that there were some deep-rooted issues with the gender pay gap and all of that stuff. But reading Rachel Rogers' book, We Should All Be Millionaires, a few years back, had me seriously fired up about the injustice and inequality that women have dealt with for centuries. And she's right, we should all be millionaires, if not for that inequality. So if you've not yet read or listened to it, I highly recommend it. It's packed with insights into the history of women and money, 
along with some ideas on how to boost your financial situation. And of course, it's not just for women either. If all men learned more about this stuff, there would be a lot less resistance to paying women more and recognizing their contribution to their own success. Okay, I'm going to get off the soapbox now because as you can tell, it's a topic in a book that literally fires me up. I'll be talking a lot more about money mindset in the coming months. So make sure you stay tuned because just these insights from this podcast alone can cause a major shift in your thoughts and your relationship with money. So let's talk about your prices, shall we? This is about you starting to truly thrive in your business by charging appropriately for your work. Plain and simple. That's it. The premium pricing strategy that I've got for you today is a game changer. It's super simple and you can implement it immediately. You can start to build your confidence in your pricing so that you feel like a freaking rock star in your own business. The first step is to decide. And yes, I know I said that in a recent episode as well, but all good things start with a clear decision. Decide that you're going to use the premium pricing model without knowing the exact numbers or how it works. Nothing happens without a decision. So don't let the mind grip you out of it, especially if you're feeling burnt out and overworked already because you're not reaching your financial goals. If you don't do the premium pricing model, what else are you going to use? You may as well give it a go. There are, of course, some very valuable reasons why you should be charging premium prices. Reason number one, premium pricing positions you, both to the outside world and to yourself, that you're worth it. You're worth it. You will naturally attract better clients when you charge premium prices. There's no tire kickers or time wasters doesn't mean that you're only working with rich, successful, or affluent people, not by a long shot. It means that you attract clients who are completely committed to their transformation or to solving their problem and getting the results they want. The best clients are the ones with skin in the game, as they say. They've had to stretch to make it happen. They're actually committed. Reason number two, you're going to have more money, obviously. And of course, this helps to end the cash flow strain. There's no more sleepless nights waking up in this anxious sweat, worrying about how you're going to make ends meet. And reason number three, making more money for less time and energy spent frees you up to live the life you love. Now, one of my core values is freedom of time and energy, and money is the thing that makes that happen. I am not down for this unhealthy mindset that you have to work hard for your money or anything similar to that. What you do doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to take all of your time and energy, and it doesn't mean that you have to spend 40 years slaving away until retirement before you finally get your freedom to enjoy the life you want. So charging premium fees is about honoring your talents and yourself. It increases your self-worth, your self-respect, and your confidence. So that's nice, isn't it? Now, what's this number one strategy for? For you to charge premium fees, I hear you asking. Get to the point, D. That strategy is, that's my little drum roll, stair-stepping. Now, this is something that I learned from the amazing money mentor, Kendall Summerhawk, and it's been instrumental in my own personal and business growth. It's something I think 
every business owner needs to understand and implement. Hashtag just saying. It's exactly what it sounds like. So if you've got a piece of paper and a pen with you, I want you to draw a set of stairs. We all know what that looks like, right? It's an upward, jagged line of vertical and horizontal movement across your page. Draw an up and then an across and then an up and across. On the bottom step, that's where your current fees or your pricing goes. And if you've got multiple offers at different price points, I want you to just focus on your top offer for the purpose of this exercise, that VIP thing with your highest price point. Write that number on the bottom step. On the top step, I'm going to take a flying leap over there. That's where you write your goal fee or price, what you want to be charging. And this number needs to be something that both excites you and scares you a little. There's got to be that emotional connection, which is essential in achieving any goal. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you should or could be charging unless you're actually a client simply because I don't know your business or your industry. I can't and won't advise anyone on the specifics. There's no simple one-size-fits-all answer for this. But whatever it is, pick your goal. Don't overthink it. This is a starting point. Because you might get closer to that goal using this strategy and realize that you've lowballed it, which is great. You can then aim higher and go for it. Now, all of those steps in between, where your current fee is and where your goal fee is, those are the incremental steps that you can take to reach that goal. Now, as an example, I'm going to use nice round numbers here. If you're currently charging $1,000 for your top offer and your goal is to be charging $5,000 for it, then your next step might be to raise it to $2,000. The next step from there might be three and a half thousand, and then finally 5000 The thing is, most women will take years to make that incremental step. So let's stop wasting time, shall we? The thing that keeps you climbing the stairs towards that goal is to decide how many clients you'll work with at each level. Maybe you'll sign on five new clients at $2,000 and you'll go for four new clients at three and a half thousand and finally aiming for three clients at 5,000. This is what gets you out of your comfort zone and creating new confidence with each level, each step. But it's also not over challenging you. You don't want to be taking a flying leap outside your comfort zone where all of your emotions and your self-worth are triggered so much that you want to run and hide under the covers for a week after telling someone in a very whispered, awkward voice, what your new fees are. That is the freak out zone and we don't want to be there. So it really does help to take those baby steps and incrementally move through the terror barrier towards your goal, which lies beyond that terror barrier, that thing that's far bigger than you've ever done before. You've got to stretch yourself without freaking out about it. This is how you grow your confidence in yourself, your business, your clients, your results, absolutely everything. That confidence is priceless. It's one of the greatest assets you can have in your business. And this is why money mindset and mindset in general is one of the most important things you can work on in your business. Because you can add all the tech and pretty brand elements, whatever it is that you want. But if your money mindset and confidence isn't strong enough to back it up, no amount of posting on social media or paying for ads is going to make a difference. 
The confidence that you develop with premium pricing helps to attract better and better clients, which makes you more successful much faster in your business. You feel more professional and more credible. You'll have more money in your account. There's no more cash flow strain. And if you do the calculations for the example that I just shared, taking you from charging $1,000 to $5,000 for your top offer, you're going from making $5,000 with five clients to making $15,000 with three clients. And if you sign on five clients at 5K, you've grown your income to 25K while still doing the same work in the same time for the same amount of effort. I don't know about you, but I much prefer the freedom that comes with charging premium fees. Now, if you're sitting there thinking this is all well and good and throwing these numbers around is just talk, but you don't feel like you've got an offer worthy of charging $5,000 for, I got you. Ignite is my private coaching program where we spend three months together working on your money mindset, on your offers, and on your pricing. This is about setting up a solid foundation for your business and money growth right now and into the future. You'll learn my simple pricing formula that gives you a reality check to make sure you're truly happy with what you're being paid. And you'll also have my offer template that you can apply to your premium offer right now, as well as any others that you'll develop in the future. You'll have rock star confidence when it comes to talking about your offers, your business, your expertise, and what you charge for it. So if that sounds good, send me a DM. I'm at Fun Business Fun Money on Facebook and Instagram. And let me know that you're interested in Ignite. We'll have a quick chat about your business and what you need. And we can get your first calls booked in the, in the coming weeks. Or if you prefer email, you can contact me there too. Hello at DeirdreAmies.com. You'll find the link for that in my not so easy to spell name in the description of this episode. And of course, it's in the show notes. So that's what I got for you today. Every business has the potential to charge premium fees regardless of your industry or your current business model. It just takes a few tweaks to ignite the possibilities and your confidence to take that next step. As always, take care, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. If you know someone who would also get something from it, don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible.